What up? This is July from Kickback Couture. I am going to discuss, actually, I'm going to show you how I set up my master chain for my beats. So, everybody wants to know how I get my beats to sound how they sound. I'm going to tell you, besides mixing, this is what really gives it the definition. So, the first thing I do, I create an audiomatic. And I use the tape preset. You can use whatever kind of tape saturation you want to use, but I think I get, I know that the perceived clarity from my beats comes from tape saturation. I also use um, FabFilter Saturn. I love that one. That one's amazing. And there's other ones like uh, the Slate uh, tape plugin, and then I believe it's Kramer waves mix one two just find one that you like and figure out how to use it and stick with that so i love tape saturation um the next thing i do is add an eq actually i add two eqs so before i add those eqs i create a stereo splitter which is made by quad electra quad electra stereo splitter and um I'm going to hold down shift and create two EQs. So one is going to be for the mid and one is going to be for the side. So I'm carving frequencies from the mid separate from the side. And when I say mid, I mean mono. And when I say side, I mean stereo. So any sound that falls in the mono field of the soundscape is going to be EQ'd separately from a sound that falls on the side. So for example, reverb and stuff is often more wide and it has width. It depends on how you mixed it and where you placed that particular, whatever particular sound in the beat when you mixed it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a stock EQ just so and I forgot to hold shift. So hold shift. Reason. Devices. M class equalizer. And I'm going to create another one. Effects. Uh, M class equalizer. I'm going to name this top one mid just so I know what I'm working with when I'm actually working on a beat and the bottom is going to be side and what I'm going to do to this mid channel is turn on the parametric one and I'm going to dial this down to about 250 hertz because in the mid uh, mid middle of the sound field 250 hertz carries a lot of mud so, get it as close as I can. I'm going to hold down shift to get more precise. Um, it doesn't have to be exact, by the way. As long as it's in the ballpark, you're good. I'm going to drop this down about, uh, about 2 decibels. Leave it at 1.7. That's cool. And uh, my Q, I'm going to bring it down to 3. So now you see this dip here. And that's going to get rid of some mud when I turn it on. For the side EQ, I'm going to bump it up at about 6K. So I'm going to add a high shelf. And 6K, that's already there. And I'm going to go up about the same 1.7 decibels. And that's just going to add some, some sparkle to the beat. Following that, I'm going to add a going to add a divider so that I can see where everything is as I'm mastering. So what I put beneath this these EQs are usually a, it's a, usually a stereo imager 
Sorry, my brain is all over the place tonight. Awesome. And actually, since I did it in another video, another thing I often add is a another EQ for vocal space and one with a, a brick wall limiter. So I had had those all in one. Yeah, it was already right there. Cool. So I add that often, and that automatically routes. Um, the only thing you have to worry about routing is uh, this stuff right here. So I'm going to show you how to do that before I go to the next thing, because I forgot. Okay, so I'm going to take the mid... and put it in the left, it doesn't matter, left or right. And then I'm gonna take the side here, put it in the audio outputs. And then um, you see this output of the stereo splitter goes back up to the master section. So I'm gonna unplug that and bring this down to this EQ, which is for the vocal space. And then I would chain this to my next section, which would be my stereo imager. So I'm going to add that. Reason devices. Oops. Let me know if you see it before I do. <laughs> I think it's a utility. Bruh. tell how long it's been since I've uh, used these menus I usually use the browser but there it goes and that is automatically connected and what I do with this is everything below about 300 Hertz is going to be mono and that's literally all I do with that Add another remark device. My little dividers. Whatever colors you want, you don't have to do that. Obviously, it just makes it easier for me. And under my stereo imager, I have my compressors. Um, did I? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Alright, so I'm going to create another stereo splitter. And then I'm going to hold down shift and create two compressors of my choice. I like to use the FET compressors. They do use um, a lot of CPU, but I like how they, how they sound on my beat, so that's what I use. And those are made by Soft 2. one for the mid and a second for the side tab gonna take this mid put it into the left mid and then the side it's really straightforward once you get the hang of the the routing awesome and following my compressors, I'm going to add another remark device. I'm going to make sure I name these so that when I save this and bring it up, I remember what is what. Following the compressors and the uh, another remark device. I add another stereo splitter, of course. Hold down shift. I actually don't have to hold down shift for that, sorry. And I'm going to create two limiters. This time I will hold down shift. You can use whatever limiter you want. I prefer ozone maximizer. By the way, if you have plugins that already have mid to side capabilities, you don't have to do this routing. Just 
drag the plugin into the master section and make it happen. You don't have to tell me that. You don't have to tell me that it's possible with other plugins. I'm doing this for people that don't have those plugins. So yeah. Cool. Flip it over. Route this mid mid input in the output side input side output and then I'm going to take this final output and put it back it put it where it belongs so it goes whoops where is this going <laughs> hold on a second That's weird. All right, so did some weird shit. And this goes here. All right, so just a recap of what happened, I know me not holding shift for this probably messed some things up. So, gonna hit K to hide my cables. Audiomatic stereo splitter number one for the EQs. The mids are going to go into the top. One for the input, one for the output. The side goes into the bottom EQ. One for the input, one for the output. And then this out is going to go into your next, your next uh, effect. So this output is going into this input. And then the output of this EQ is then going into this stereo imager. And the output of the stereo imager is going into the next stereo splitter, which is for my compressors. The mids are going into the in and out of the top, which I labeled mid. The sides are going into the bottom, left, left, side, labeled side. After that, have another stereo splitter. Of course, these outs are routed into this input which it actually appears I didn't do that so let's do that or right, double check what you did awesome got the mids going into the input and the output sides top bottom let's name these this is the middle this is the side awesome and that is the end of my chain so this out is going to go back up into this portion of the master section add k press k to add the clutter back and you have this big mess which makes a beautiful sound so this is how i get my beast to sound how they sound uh, this may have been really confusing to people who do not like cables, so I will have the free download available on my site. So go ahead and download that. And if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Most definitely, let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture.